Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, October 22, 2019. Several of you, actually quite a few of you, have asked that I be sure and shoot a video when it comes the time for Joe to slap the transom in our 1958 Pen Yan Sea Liner. Well, here we are, and I'll hand it over to Joe and uh, we'll go from there. When we finish, we'll have a transom stick in there. So basically, I got that new strip put in here. It's all 5200 in. And a lot of people I hear kind of, you know, get a little worried about the tails here. Um, once I get the transom all in, all these little holes in here are going to be filled with brand new nails. Um, as you can see, there's like kind of 5200 in there, but the nails will drive all that out. Um, and once. I get the transom in place and all the nails are in, they're all going to be set and all this roughness is going to go away because it's all going to be filled in with Fixo wood or um, Fixo wood epoxy and get sanded down. Um, and I always make them a little bit bigger because I want to be able to make sure I can sand everything in. Um, that way it looks, you know, nice and uniform and like it came out of the factory. Uh, and like, like I said, there's just very little bit. I always leave, try to leave like an eighth inch. Um, so now I'm going to be getting ready to put the the 5200 around my transom and I have uh, rigged up a jack here to be able to help me get it all in place and I'll just start driving all the nails in it. This, the Makita gun really comes in handy right here because we don't need a huge ribbon of 5200. All over the edge of this thing. We already know we're going to end up with some squeeze out, but we don't want to waste 5200. So we'll let Joe apply the 5200 and in just a second we'll be back as the transom blank is set in place and then fastened. Well before I shut the camera off, Joe, I noticed that along the bottom you're running a a longitudinal bead, but on the edges you're going up and down. Right, well actually it's, um, it all depends, there, there will be low spots on this transom, so I'm making sure that there's the same 5200 all the way around it. Um, and right over here on the back side of it, it's, it's really not more of a less of going up and down, it's just to where you can get the nozzle going in. One of the really wonderful characteristics of this Makita gun is that when you release the trigger, the uh, whatever you're dispensing gets sucked back into the nozzle rather than continuing to bleed out.
you'll notice that Joe is troweling it out with a uh, a plastic knife so that uh, we get a uniform coverage. You got it? It's got to go down a little bit. There we To start right by my right by my corners. There is that moment of truth. One second. Gotta go from one side to the other. So Joe will continue nailing all the way around. And we'll allow the 5200 to squeeze out in the process. Clean it with Interlux 
333. Brushing the liquid. Well, there she is, all in place. Joe cleaned everything off with the uh, 333. I see a can of acetone up there. Did you use some of that? Yeah, I used the acetone after I get the 333, or the um, 5200 cleared up and it helps it kind of flash and it um, cures quicker. Can you gas a little more 333 on this? Yeah. I see a blue gloved hand. It must be Anthony's won the prize to uh, clean the squeeze out off the inside, huh? Yeah, he got the short stick. Yeah, that's the way it goes. And uh, here for those who were asking, you see there's two courses of, of nails. And once everything has cured, Joe will go back through with the uh, Thixo wood, which is a, just an incredible product. If you haven't tried it, get on Jamestown's website. Look for Thixo wood. Uh, again, you're going to want a uh, pneumatic caulk, piston dri driven caulking gun to pay it out, but that's all right. You can buy those from Amazon. So, our 1958 16-foot Penyan Sea Liner has a new transom as of October 22nd, 2019. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.